In the following, we want to demonstrate a few typical configuration sequences for process diagnostics. We have chosen a brief example for each language. In ladder, function block diagram, or statement list, we will see address monitoring using S7P Diag add on. In S7 Graph, we will configure a supervision and an interlock for a step. And in S7 High Graph, we will configure a monitoring time in a state. All the examples will be visualized with Pro Tool Pro and Pro Agent. Let us begin with the example of address monitoring with S7 P Diag. We open FB20 in the block view of the Step 7 project. This contains a general run release signal that is linked via an individual logic distributed over several networks. In Network 4, we select the assignment Gen Release and activate the Process Monitoring dialog. Via the New button, we want to configure an address monitoring. In the next dialog, we parameterize the monitoring of a falling edge, enter a delay time of one second, and the message text. The formal parameters in the message mean that when there is a fault, the faulty unit and all the signals concerned are displayed in clear text. We acknowledge the dialogs and save the FB20. Then the monitored address will be marked in yellow. We close the block editor. In the block overview, we now see that the FB20 is marked as supporting diagnostics. Since the instance DB of the FB20, in our case DB20, also needs this attribute, we open this block in the statement list editor. In the Properties dialog, we go to the Attributes tab and give the S7P Diag property the value True. In the Block Overview, we see now that after saving the block, the DB20 has also been marked as Supporting Diagnostics. We now call the Process Diagnostics application S7PDiag. In the Explorer view in the left window, we see all the units of the program that support diagnostics. In the right window, you have a display of all the signals monitored and also the type of monitoring. Via the menu item Process Diagnostics, Compile Completely, we now generate all the monitoring blocks. In the block overview of the Simatic Manager, we see the newly generated monitoring blocks and the required system functions. Then we open the OB1 and insert the code lines for calling the monitoring blocks. We save OB1 and close the block editor. Now we load the Step 7 project into the CPU. We open the Pro Tool Pro project from the project view of the Simatic Manager. In order to be able to configure with Pro Agent, we go to the menu item System and open the dialog Pro Agent. In the standard group, we select the unit that supports diagnostics and transfer it to the selected units window. We close the dialog with OK, save the project, activate generation, 
and then start the run time. As soon as a process fault is triggered, for which monitoring has been configured, a pop-up window opens containing the configured message text. We acknowledge the message and switch to the message picture and to the detail view, where we can determine not only the addresses that caused the fault, but also the associated controller, the unit and the network in which the fault occurred. With the F8 button, we can have the signals in the statement list network displayed. With F7, we get not just the links which include the faulty addresses, but the complete network. Again, with F8, we switch to the ladder view. Here, too, we can have both a section or the entire network shown.